lesson 7 worksheet today we're going to go over area of a rectangle then area of a triangle and then rule problems let's start off with looking at number one we have we have we're looking for the area of a rectangle and to find the area of a rectangle we need to multiply the length by the width so right here is the length and right here is the width so as we can see the length is 2 and the width is 3 and if we multiply the two together we get 6. And then we gotta make sure to label 6 centimeters squared. Let's try this one more time. Let's look at number 4. We have 2 as the length again, and we have 5.5 as the width. We multiply those together, and we get 11 centimeters squared. Let's try some harder examples. Let's try at number 5. We have 31 and 197. Like I said, we just multiply the width by the length, the order doesn't matter. And 31 times 197 is equal to 6,107 squared. So what the area is, is that the area is the amount of, uh, I don't, I don't want to say area in the, in the, in the shape, but it's the amount of area, it's the amount of coverage it has in the shape, like the insides of the shape in total. So like inside the shape is 6,107 uh, centimeters squared. Okay, let's do number 7 real quick. We have 0 0.99 and then 1.01. .01. Let's multiply those two. And then we'll get whopping 0 0.999 meter squared. Oh. Okay, let's move on to areas of a triangle now. So for a triangle, the area is similar to a rectangle, but it's one half times base times width. It's basically length times width instead of one half because a triangle is basically one half of a rectangle. Right, this is this is a bad example. Triangle is like there we go. Basically, these a rectangle is two triangles put together like that. So let's look at number one. We have three times two. The base is two and the height is three. So we multiply those together and we get six. But we have to do one half of it. So we have to multiply by one half. And then six over two is equal to three. So the area of it is three units, three centimeters squared. You gotta make sure to change it to squared because we're multiplying it and find an area. Okay, let's try number three. We have a base of, base of three and a length of five. Or height of five, sorry. So we multiply those two together and we get 15. And then our final step to find the area would be to multiply by one half. And then when you multiply, you get 7.5. So in the end, it would be end up being 7.5 squared centimeter squared. It's basically the exact same thing as a rectangle, but instead it's a it's one half of it. So let's look at let's look at number five. We have base of one and height of one hundred. We multiply those together, we're gonna get hundred. Then our final step again, we multiply by one half, and boom, we get fifty centimeters squared. Let's try number six. Base of 100, length of one. Same thing as the other equation. You get 100, and then our final step is multiplying by one half, and then we get 50. And make sure to label 50 centimeters squared. Let's move on to some word problems. <clears throat> what is the area of this pentagon? The bottom part is square and the top part is a triangle. 
Okay, so we have if it know, if you know something is a square, that means all sides are equal. So that if it's, if this is two, this is two, and this is two, and therefore we can know if this is four, then this also has to be four. And a square is basically a rect. A square can be a rectangle, or it's always a rectangle, but a rectangle cannot always be a square because rectangles do not always have all equal sides. And so let's do our formula for our square, which is base times uh, length times width. We get 4 times 4, which is equal to 16 centimeter squared. Okay. Now we gotta do our triangle area. So if we have the base of four right here, we can also say this is four. And so we do eight times four, and we will get, I believe, 36 or 32. Sorry, and we get 32. And then since it's a triangle, we gotta multiply by one half. One by one half. And it's going to equal sixteen. As well. And so we we want to know the area of this pentagon. We gotta add them together, and we get thirty-two centimeters squared as the total. Let's see. As if 